Today we are counting down three times the left made an absolute and utter mockery of black people right to our faces. My name is Candace Owens and you are watching The Left Thinks Blacks Are Stupid. Let's take it from the top. Number three was brought to us by a woman who knows absolutely no boundaries when it comes to making me cringe. That's right. Hillary Clinton claims she keeps hot sauce in her bag. What's, what's something that you always carry with you? Hot Just sauce. Hot sauce. Really? Uh, yes. Now listen, yes. I just want you to know people are going to see this and say, okay, she's pandering to black people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is it working? <laughs> She doesn't even care if we know that she thinks we're stupid. Like she doesn't even care. <laughs> no, seriously, hot sauce. So I've been I've been eating a lot of hot sauce. Hot sauce, yeah. I just want to sit in on a DNC strategy session. Okay, here's how we get the Latina vote: empanadas. I'll say that I love empanadas. I buy Londo to Enrica Iglesias. Okay, here's how we're gonna get the Irish vote. Potatoes! So insulting and easy to see why number two on our countdown is when Hillary Clinton pretends to be a Jay-Z fan. Without further ado, I would like to introduce to you the next president of the United States, Hillary Clinton. Without further ado, I would like to introduce to you how stupid the left thinks we are. Oh my god, it's Jay-Z and Beyonce. I always do whatever they say. I can guarantee you that Hillary Clinton cannot even name two Jay-Z albums. And yet, just a few days before the election, while Donald Trump was out on the ground speaking to real people, she opted to throw a Jay-Z and Beyonce concert. In case you don't speak liberal, allow me to interpret that action for you. Hi, black people. I know your communities are suffering, but you are too stupid for me to waste my time speaking to you about that. So instead, I'm going to throw you a Jay-Z and Beyonce concert. You guys like hip-hop, right? So insulting, it actually pisses me off. She doesn't even think she needs to speak to us about what is happening in our community and how she is going to fix it. If you guys watched that concert and thought, oh my God, Queen Bay and Jay are hashtag with her, then congratulations because you are considered an easy target by the left. Back when I used to babysit, the three-year-old that I watched was obsessed with Barbies. Whenever I wanted her to do something, I would tell her that Barbie thought it was cool. Barbie thinks cleaning your room is cool. That is literally the strategy that the left uses on black people. Jay-Z and Beyonce think it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, number one on this countdown is drum roll please. Mr. Change himself, Barack Obama. Yes! A black president! Now I can die a happy death. This means progress because his skin is black, like mine. I'm not gonna lie, I was fooled first too back in 08 when Obama first came around. Just seeing somebody that looked like me made me buy into the illusion that perhaps this country was headed in the right direction. And then I woke up and I will never repeat, never ever be fooled by the color of someone's skin again. Just because you are a woman does not mean that your primary concerns are for women. Just because you are a black man does not mean that your primary concerns are for black men. Lessons learned the hard way, anybody? I want to be very clear on the takeaway here. The left thinks black people are stupid. They rely on our interests, hip hop, culture, music, hot sauce apparently, to distract us from the truth, which is that we are, in fact, ignorant. We are ignorant because we do not know our own history. We are ignorant because the left controls the academia, the media, and Hollywood. Q, J, and Bay. And they have purposefully thrown off our sense that we would never discover the source of our own pain and misery. Slavery, segregation, welfare, you name it. It has, and always will, be orchestrated by the left. Thank you guys so much for watching.